you. Now, some days, the teacher might come in carrying a handful of bird feathers, and he'd say, well, I, I shot a turkey out in the woods last night, and I brought the feathers in for the students to use for pens. Now, Lincoln, why don't you go to the woods and see if you can find some berries? We can squeeze the berry juice into a container. That will be the ink. We can dip the quill into the bird feather into the ink we've made from the berry juice, and we can work with that. So, yes. Well, you know then how a quill could be used for a pen. Well, anyway, my favorite thing in school was to read. I, I love to read. Things I wanted to know about could be found in books. So I tried to read even on days when I couldn't go to school. See, my dad could keep me home and work on the farm. We were farmers. So about this time of year, in the spring, we would plow the field. We had a wooden plow that was only about that wide. And we had two oxen to pull that wagon so those two oxen could pull the plow. We would plant pumpkins, potatoes, beets, corn, flax. Flax you could use. My mother had a spinning wheel and she could spin the strands of flax to make a shirt for you or a dress for, for Sarah. So this was how we, we grew our crops. In the summer, we would split rails to make fencing. We would try to find a tree that had the trunk about 16 feet high. You'd cut that tree down and you would use the trunk and you would split it in two right down the middle. Then with the half that you have, you would split in two and make quarters. You split the quarters in two that made eight rails out of that tree trunk. And you could put the rails together at a zigzag, and then they would stand up pretty well, and that would be the pasture for your animals.